Well, good evening everyone. Mikey Kung Pao back here. Uh, we were going to do video on some other topic and everything. I wasn't going to do any more with this Ravio Rat lady. Okay, I can't stand her in any way, shape or form. But uh, so much go on, we're going to have to do a little bit of video on her. Be the only one we do. Thank you Croker Queen for poting everything as always. You the best. And uh, this is the trial that ate my brain. Look how long this thing going on. This lady going to stand forever. Just like all the defense witnesses. Okay, so anyway, we're going to talk. You know, the prosecution put the case on in uh, nine days. Fourteen witnesses, something like that. And uh, the defense been going on for four months. Anyway, driving me crazy. All right, listen. Can we talk? I got a rata thing on my mind tonight. Look, I got my grass of vino so I don't go crazy. My head explodes, my whole body explodes. But this Raphael is driving me insane. Okay, so let me have a sip of this. Otherwise, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start screaming at the at you. I don't want to do that. All right. So what we got? So all the things that go on. Uh, Jira get kicked off. We know about that. Uh, Jody Araya making an evil grin. Uh, Travis family crying, and she looking at them and groating and and everything. And uh, this just one of the many times Jody showed her evil her true depths of her evil. Okay, she thinks she's putting one over on everyone. We'll see. Okay, trial not over. Um, uh, Nermi today calling for a sequester of the jury, like they're not bored enough already to get to sit in a hotel room uh, all night with nothing to do beside everything else. Okay, so anyway, if he had his way, uh, the only thing that it would ever hear is Jody made up stories from her journal. Anyway, uh, that driving me crazy. Uh, the new stuff on the internet about the, uh, the Flores and talking to Jody Parent. As we all see now, go look that up. We see now that Jody Parents thinks she batshit crazy, just like all of us. You know, hey, something wrong with her. She's stalking and everything and spying. Her dad say that. Her, her mom say, I don't know what's wrong with her. Mean, nasty, you know, and mom crying. Those are the only real tear ever show up in that interrogation room with Froz was the mom. I'm kind of feeling sorry for her a little bit now. I'm feeling more sorry for Travis' family. Anyway, um, let's talk about this horrible, horrible person, this raw violet. Look, I don't like to talk bad about people. Okay, that's not my nature. Okay, normally I want to see the best in everyone. We all have Froz. I have Froz. You have Froz. We all have Froz, right? But this raw violet making me sick. She like... I know how, why her name Auris now, okay? Because she like Auris in Wonderland. It's like up is down, black is white, good is bad, evil is good. Whatever uh, thing that she say Travis do, it's the exact opposite. It's all the things Jody do. Every kind of abuse that she talk about. Oh, escalation of violence and, and uh, stalking and spying and uh, trying to manipulate the other person and on and on and on. We're going to talk about that just a little bit tonight. Look at a couple video clip on a computer. Okay, but that's what's driving me crazy. So, um, in fact, in, if you haven't been following the trial, uh, this is that Ravio Rat, okay? That's Ravio Rat right there. Okay, that her, okay? Right there. I got a couple pictures of her. So here's another one. Here's another one of a Ravio Rat, okay? That one. See? See how the mouth's very similar in both pictures? Okay, that's the Ravio Rat, as far as I'm concerned. And let me ask you something. When you see that picture of her, and you see her on the TV, don't you think she could afford a decent haircut? She's getting paid $350 an hour. She's trying to look like a little butch boy in the haircuts that she do. Okay, anyway. Uh, let's move on. Ravio Rat is a fraud and a phony. I think the jury know this. That's why they're not taking any notes or anything anymore. And uh, she redefined everything as far as what abuse is. Everything abuse. Everything Travis ever do abuse. You know, see these flowers right here? Uh, I pick them from the yard from uh, Mrs. Mikey Kung Pao. I like to see them. Okay. Hey, they smell pretty good. Anyway, uh, you know, see how they're kind of wilting around here? Then? That would be abuse. Okay. Rav Arret would say, hey, you picked them flowers on purpose knowing they're going to wilt so that you can make your wife sad uh, because that's a pattern of abuse. Okay. So Travis loaned Jody... Uh, Travis loaned some money to Jody. That abuse. Travis borrowed some money from Jody. That abuse. Travis refused to borrow, borrow or uh, loan money to Jody. That abuse. Okay? Everything Travis ever do abuse, as far as she can say. When Travis came out of his mother's womb, that was abuse to Jody, according to uh, this Ravio Rat. Okay, she's just a hardcore, all her credibility gone. Okay, I ain't gonna say too much. Uh, anyway. 
another thing, uh, she read the, in fact, you know, this, this woman's so crazy. She say that Travis' father, uh, 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 Jody's father, putting a picture of the mom up on the wall, okay, uh, with abuse. Because the picture of the mom is when she was a few years younger. So she trying to make her fear bad. So it abuse, okay? So everything abuse. Hey, revile that. Did that mean the picture you put on your website of yourself, which is many years younger than you are now, are you abusing yourself? That a pattern of abuse. I would call that self-abuse, which is the only kind of activity you probably do, if you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, okay, so pardon me, folk. I gonna be a little bit of a nasty mood tonight, you know. It's the revile rat. I'll feel better uh, when she gets destroyed by Juan. But this is another thing upsetting me. Juan Martinez start off with the crazy um, stuff about uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarf and everything. Juan, get off that kick, man. You got so much you could go after this woman on. Okay, stop that. Uh, turn her around on her head and show her how everything she's talking about abuse is what Jody do, not what Travis do, okay? Uh, that way you can easily show, and you can destroy her testimony on that basis, and a lot of others, okay? Get off the stupid Snow White thing already, okay? I like Juan. I totally back him, but I don't like the way he starts this thing. All right. So, we got a new definition, by the way. A new definition of cheating from this raw violet. Now you know what cheating is? That when uh, you a single male, right, and uh, some psycho want to marry you, and you say, I don't want to marry you, you a psycho. And you go date some other woman and kiss her? That cheating, according to Rav Aret. That a pattern of infidelity. Oh, yeah, it's very abusive, okay? That go on and on with Travis and Jody. Uh, when he know who she was, once Travis know who Jody is, he don't want to have a real relationship with. So she keep trying to get him with dirty sex and everything, and he, so he go around, okay, not to his credit. He maybe should avoid that, especially after he got his tires thrashed and everything. It should have been a big red warning frag to him. Okay, I got to admit that, but my goodness. All right, let's go on uh, before I puke. Okay, Revirette was sick yesterday. She made me sick every day. Okay, anyway, um, what else are we going to talk about? I think we're going to go uh, look on the computer for a few crips. We don't want to go too wrong tonight, okay? So we'll be right back. Okay, here we are. We're going to watch just a little bit of what Ruff, this Violet doing on the stand here well, today. I have a partner relationship, Mr. Martinez, and I have no information about the relationship between Prince Charming and Snow White. I don't know what their relationship was, so you're mischaracterizing that by saying that that can be applied to Snow White as a child. This is not about child abuse. Well, let's talk about, for example, whether or not we can find some of the items that were present in the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and whether or not Snow White was a battered woman, okay? With regard to your the conference agenda, that conference agenda that we're talking about, it dealt with adults, didn't it? It, de it, it dealt with adults. Yes, it did. And in it, you said, a Snow White, a battered woman. That was the title, right? Objection. Objection. You're talking about the truth again. Hey, look at Jody's new hairstyle. I think that really ugly, okay? Uh, and why she do that? She's not going to be able to cry effectively anymore because now we're going to be able to see her face, no tear. Okay, anyway, let's get rid of this. Why did they do that Snow White and the Seven Dwarf thing? Stop that one. Okay, get on to the real thing. And we're going to watch what this, this woman do uh, uh, yesterday. The basic effect of this is to isolate her from even writing in a journal, which Miss Arias has a long history of writing in journals and journaling um, since she was a, a child. And so this was a place where she could write, like people write Dear Diary, where she could write her most personal things. And what this meant was that even in that place, she needed to restrict what she wrote. So it, it further isolates her. Yeah, she's trying to say that Travis made her not write in her journal. Okay, Travis the controlling one all the time. Yeah, just the opposite. Jody the manipulative really one trying to control everything Travis do every moment of every day. Uh, what else we got here? Um, and what about Mr. Alexander's behavior? Is it controlling? It is controlling behavior. Mm. And it also... Yeah. Were well, you doing the stalking? Huh? Law of Stabbing, kind of tire thrashing. She the one running around to Crater Lake the and everybody. She um, was. 
despite the fact that she... You know what does vile rat sound like to me? You know, you know them Charlie Brown cartoons, okay? Uh, the Charlie Brown cartoon where the adults are always going, wah, 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 okay? That's what all her sounds to, to me. Everything she say is Travis abusive and Travis abuse. So that's all she's sounding like to me is wah, wah, wah. From now on, that's all, all we need to know from her. Okay, what, what else we got here? This one uh, made me mad. I'm going to show you. Uh, and part of... And um, one day she came home from work, and her husband worked from the house, and uh, she saw him throwing her cat across the room. And she was very upset, and she confronted him, and he said he would never do anything like that again, explained to her how he... Yeah, okay. Uh... So she's talking about a totally irrelevant story from someone else, trying to make it sound like Travis write that. But who really write that? Travis always nice to his dog and all animals and all other people. So who the one that was uh, abusing pets in the past? Oh yeah, that was Jody, wasn't it? Jody the one kicking and probably curing that dog that she said she never saw ever again. Okay, make me sick. Okay, I, I, I getting carried away again stressed out and things where he was having a bad day and oh look at the uh, what can you explain what you mean by how, how does that cross someone's bottom line yeah if you're doing things that you don't want to do even if you act like you like doing them which i've seen people do a lot or even if you like some of them yeah okay so now it's a uh, Okay, don't believe anything even Jody say in her journal, or on text message, or an email. Really, she hated everything Travis doing, okay? She was just pretending, okay? What a bunch of crap. Okay, I want to show you uh, Jody sticking her tongue out uh, like a serpent. She do this all the time. You probably notice. Uh, They're nice emails. Watch her croaks They're loving now. emails. I'm sorry? They're loving emails. Loving, loving emails. emails. And does Mr. Alexander start the email loving emails? Yes, he does. And is Miss Al uh, I'm sorry, is Miss Arias responding? Watch crows. Yes, she is. Okay. Here come the reptile and, tongue. Uh, are they talking? Uh, is there something significant? Did about you see it? Did you see that reptile tongue? Yeah, that was pretty good, huh? Emails for you. Okay, this is where the rubbing emails are abusive, and the emails say, "Can't you get Ross and maybe move back to Wairika? Those abusive. Everything abusive. Okay, that's all we need to know about her now. One more thing I want to show you. Did you know that Jody used to be in a rock band when she young? You know, she's pretty old now, in her 30s, okay? I want to show you she used to be in a rock band. Uh, here's the song she do. Listen to it. go crazy on him, don't she? Oh, boy. Okay, but what you probably also don't know, even Juan Martinez used to be in a band when he young. So uh, we're going to play just a little bit of Juan when uh, when he was young also and see what kind of band he was in. Uh, let's just see for a second. Uh, he was doing the vocals on this. Listen to this one. <laughs> That's the way I feel, too. Look at that band. They're shredding. They're hot. I'll show you what you do next. You get just getting warmed up. So you see, uh, these people had a musical career in the past, you know? They do pretty good with it, don't you think? Okay, going to show you one more thing. So here, one more little thing here I want to show you. Remember when she was uh, doing that evil wrath and grin at Juan Martina, first day of cross? Wait, let's look at that again. Content, sort of combination. Was that 
Yeah, she have a hard time suppressing that grin. They are a word for it. I forget the psychological term, but it, it's um, when a sociopath thinks they really putting one over on you, they really rub it. They eat it up. And we see that grin from her many times, okay? Uh, she tried to put on all that sad face and everything, but really she raffing at everyone, thinking, I'm going to pull this off. She don't think she's going to be convicted. Sociopaths never think anything bad going to happen to them. Uh, could they lie so good? Okay, anyway, uh, let's look at what she did when they got that juror uh, knocked off the jury. Watch her close, just yesterday. Um, see her? She covering her mouth. Don't want the jury to see. I'm raffing. I'm raffing and so joyful because Travis' family were crying because we got a juror kicked off. That's what she's thinking. Okay? And we saw that many times from her. Entry. Watch her a, a little bit again. Um, kind of sickening. You see that, well, that stupid grin on her face? And then with that, that lizard thing again with the, the licking of the tongue sticking out. I'm going to look at that again some other time. Okay, here Jody. Um kicking the dog. The only thing she ever did bad. Dog I kicked the dog once. I was a freshman in high school and I love, love, love animals. So much I kill them. And when we had this dog, his name was Doggy Boy, and my parents, until this dog that they have now, have never been able to, and I don't mean just them, we as a family have never been able to care for a dog properly as far as give it attention and take it for walks and be consistent. Um, so this dog stayed in the backyard a lot, and he stayed tied up on, you know, in the shade with plenty of, you know, leeway. At one point, though, he was untied, and I took the trash out. And he, and this is when my little brother and sister were still in diapers, and he tore yep. this, it was a diaper. The little brother you used to beat with a baseball bat. We heard about that. Bat. And of course I had to clean it up, and when diapers get wet, and they're like this jelly, spongy, weird stuff. Yeah. And I just, I got mad, and I, I just kicked him with my right foot, and he just moved a few feet. And F flew through the air a few feet, yeah. Just went, he ran away. Okay, that story sound plausible to you? She kicked a dog one time and he never come back for his food. Okay, that not a plausible story. We know what really happened, and uh, you know this file rat should be talking about this kind of thing. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go back to to comment to you a little bit more. We done. All right, so we back from that. Now, uh, bottom line is, you know, uh, this woman called everything abuse, but Travis was trying to let Jody down easy. It went, the reason he got more and more irritated with her is she weren't getting the message. It's like, you a psycho. I don't want to marry you. Now, women, you know how this is. This usually happened the other way around. It's usually a guy pressuring a woman all the time, you know. And, uh, you, you know, you go out on a date with him and you go, hey, man, this guy's a creep or something, like some kind of a psycho weirdo. I don't want to go back out with him again. So you get back from the date and you go, uh, hey, you know, uh, thank you for taking me out and everything. But you don't give him no kiss. You know, you don't invite him in, uh, you don't say, I'll oh, call me sometime. You just get out of the car and you go, that should give the guy a crew, right? But some guy, they don't get a crew, especially if they're a psycho, right? So they're going to call you back, and then you say, oh, sorry, I'm busy, I can't go out. That should give the guy a crew, right? Don't give him a crew if he's not there, right? He just keep on pressuring and pressuring like Jody do to Travis, okay? So the next time he call and he say, hey, I got tickets to a Beatle reunion concert tour. They cost $5,000 a piece, I got a box seat. Even John Rennan gonna be there. You know, come back after many years being dead. And, and you say to the guy, you know, uh, that sounds really exciting and everything, but you know what? Um, I have an appointment to get my uh, dog groomed on that day, so I can't really go with you, okay? This should give the guy a crew, but it don't give him a crew if he's a psycho, do it. So next time you call, you finally have to say, look, you creep, you weirdo. Get Rost, okay? Uh, I'm not going out with you, all right? That way you finally have to do. Because that would happen with Jody and Travis. He nice to her at first. Then she tried to own him and possess him. And uh, so he continued to have sex with her. And uh, she keeps saying, oh, you have to be faithful and monogamous to me, only to me. And he's, you know, and uh, he say, yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, can you move to Wairika, maybe find a new boyfriend or something? He never jealous of her. She trying to make him jealous going out with other guys and stuff. He don't care. Okay, she don't get the crew, okay? She trying to buy t-shirts, say, I, I belong to Travis on it. And, he, and, and then she say that he the one got it for her. And of course, he's going... That embarrassing. Take that thing off. Don't go out in public with that thing. Okay. He called her name because she won't stop bothering him and harassing him and trying to force him to marry her. 
That way he finally start talking mean to her if he ever do. Okay, anyway. Uh, so, so this Ra Violet, can I just call her Violet to you? Because, you know, I can't say the whole word very good. You know, so, you don't mind, right? Anyway, this Ra Violet, this Violet person, okay, she take everything that Jody say in her journal and everything she tell her at the gospel truth. Okay, because heaven knows, Jody would never lie about anything. And this is what makes me so sick about the witness. So she take everything that Jody say as gospel truth. Speaking of which, okay, I had that book right here. Okay, that my Bible. Okay, and I want to tell you something. Uh, by the way, have you seen that new documentary called The Bible on History Channel? Okay, I was, I was thinking about watching it, you know. But uh, the thing is, is um, I read the book. And, uh, you know, the book's so much better than the movie, usually, you know. So, in fact, I read the book a few times. So, anyway, maybe I check it out, though. Anyway, I want to tell you something. Let, let, not the theological lesson or anything, but let's talk about false testimony. Because that's what La Viarette did in this trial. False testimony. Not just the fact she parroting back what Jody say, and uh, Jody tell me this, or Jody tell me that, or I got this impression. No. She's saying it all like the gospel truth. So it's no excuse for her to say, uh, oh, I'm just reporting what Jody told me, all right? What the Bible say about false testimony? Let's see what it say. It say in Exodus 20, 16, one of the 10 commandments, one of the 10 that Jody says she abide by, say, uh, you shall not give false testimony. In fact, Jody broke several of the commandments. And I'm not seeing any of us perfect. None of us are. We all break God's laws, don't we? But Jody broke the worst ones, didn't she? Okay. Did she honor her father and her mother when she were kicking them and hitting them and refusing to do what they say and killing the family dog and uh, being crazy at home and uh, she had to go live with her grandparents? Uh, no, she didn't keep that one, did she? How about thou shalt not murder? Didn't keep that one either, did she? Anyway, this love I read. This false testimony is an important concept in the Bible, and it comes up many times. How about this one? Deuteronomy 5.20, you should not give false testimony. Now listen to this one. It's Deuteronomy 19. If a malicious witness take the stand to accuse someone of a crime, the judges, not like the jury, should make a thorough investigation. And if that witness proved to be a liar, giving false testimony, okay, then due to that false witness, as that witness was trying to do to that other party, okay, uh, like reputation destruction, what this particular witness, Violet, trying to do to Travis. Uh, and then I'd find that verse conclude with, you must purge the evil from you. And you know what? I think that La Violet is as almost as evil as Jody. I really do. I know what they got to do. She a witness for the defense. She a spokesperson for the defense. They have a right to call an expert, blah, 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 blah. Okay. But this go way beyond that. Because it's not just her giving a point of view to try to support Jody's side. She get up and tell blatant rise and uh, just telling uh, Jody's story as if it were absolute truth. And everything Travis ever do with horrible and abuse. Hey, Ravi Arret, you want to know what real abuse is? Okay, this is real abuse right here. Okay, all right. Look, you know, people think uh, maybe I uh, uh, shouldn't be waving firearm around. Look, there's nothing in there. See, see, I always empty the chamber first. Okay, hey, who calling me when I'm making a video? Okay, to being annoying. Anyway, should I get the phone? I think I'm just gonna let it ring. Let them leave a message. I bet it's my daughter. She's got a really sweet voice. Anyway, reason I always empty a gun whenever I do the video call, I'm afraid that I'm going to shoot myself by accident, okay? And uh, then I would have to be uh, claiming self-defense on myself. That's why I shoot myself. Anyway, Ravira, that's what I was saying. Hey, Ravira, wait, let me see who's calling. They don't have a message. Probably a salesperson. Didn't want to talk to them anyway. All right. Uh, okay. Raviolet, real abuse, that, that would be this, okay? Thrashing tires would be real abuse. Spying on someone, sending email and text as someone else, pretending to be someone else, we already know Jody do that. Lots of testimony, lots of documentation, that abuse. Stalking someone is, uh, 
escalating abuse, escalating violence, harassing, harassing new people, harassing new girlfriend. I show you in another video. Wait. I'm getting wound up. Hold on. Okay, that better. I show you in the other video. Jody, the one trying to isolate Travis from his friends and his family and everyone. She, the one you see in that social situation where they were, where everyone else was trying to interact with Travis, listen to his story, and she's all pissed off because she's not the center of attention and she wants to be alone with him. And that what everyone say who've been interviewed. She wants to get him away from everybody else and isolate him. Just like this witness Violet say abusive person do. She got it all backwards. Alice in Wonderland, what we're going to call her. Okay. Who with the one kicking and killing dogs? Travis? No, not Travis. That would be Jody. Who the one abusing their parents and kicking them and attacking them? That would be Jody. Who the one making up endless pathological lies? That would be Jody. Who the one trying to... Okay, we talked about separating from family and friends. So there is a pattern of abuse, and we know where the pattern coming from. All right, now, I'm going to have to get a little bit serious and mean about this. I'm sorry, okay? Ravi Arad, I'm going to tell you what I think of you, okay? Everything about your testimony is a phony, fraud, and despicable. All right? You are lying, Raya, right, Jody, because you have made a mockery of your profession. You have made a mockery of actual abused women. And the reason why this uh, hits so close to home for me, I have a couple people I'm very close to who I love a lot who actually have been victimized by abuse before, real abuse, physical abuse, all right? And I'm not making that up. So this woman just make me sick, all right? I'm sorry to get so serious tonight. Usually, you know I have a good sense of humor, usually, but she make me sick. Anyway, you're making a mockery, Violet, of the justice system and of the jury. You're making a mockery of Travis. Family members have to listen to all that crap from you day after day. You're making a mockery of everyone watching, and you're making a mockery of truth and justice and reality. All right, so don't use the excuse you're just reporting what Jody say to you, okay? We give you a break if you're doing that, but not, not what you're doing. Even Samuels was better than that on you. You know, what you're doing is you talk every incident that Jody ever told you, and you say it like it a fact, and you uh, venture your so-called expert opinion and uh, say that Travis was abusing her, okay, in your opinion. All right, what you are doing, ma'am, you're trying to kill Travis all over again. You're doing it to his family members in front of them by killing his reputation, just like Jody. Okay, that's what you involved in. And that's why what I say to you is that I want you all to excuse me for saying this. Like I say, I don't want to talk bad, but in my opinion, Violet, okay, you are a horrid, incompetent, evil, lying, despicable, monstrous, wicked, false testimony human being, and you have no credibility. And those are just your good points. All right? So, for everyone else who despised the witness as much as I do, okay, um, I'm going to teach you a uh, three-word we have in an Asian language to describe her testimony. Okay? The first word, chimpakan duak an. Okay? This exactly translates to poppycock. All right? Next word, uh, awan wan su. This exactly translates to barderdash. Okay? And the last word I'm going to teach you about her testimony, Asian uh, whatever. Itching on to ni o. This exactly translates to cow patties in rice fields. That's kind of like burr shit, you know, but the, the, the cow version, you know, the female version. Okay? So, that what you are. Hey. Who would be doing all the spying like that? That'd be Jody, okay? That the one looking through the windows and everything. And nobody else, okay? Yeah, and we got this here. One of my Jody glasses. Everyone's gonna recognize. All right, so enough of Rabbi Arat. We're not gonna go back to her. I hope Juan tear her to pieces next week and tomorrow. And uh, I hope he say to her, he, I hope he start saying, ma'am, ma'am, uh, did I ask you that, ma'am? Did I ask you whether every word in Jody Juno must be true, ma'am? Did I ask you that, ma'am? You having a problem with your memory? I hope he get back to her normal one self and expose her for what she is and stop with this nonsense with the, the uh, seven dwarfs and the Snow White. Okay? That don't fit. All right. So all of you have sent me, I want to say one thing. 
all you people who uh, give me encouragement and everything and put a lot of question and comment on the videos and everything and we uh, dialogue back and forth sometime on Croker Queen's uh, uh, site with her um, videos from the co-op trial and everything. I feel really bad. I don't get back to everybody and I want to, but I can't. I have no time. You know, it's like 70 hour a week working. Then I come home, I got a whole bunch of things to do. Taxes and then and children to take care of it. All that other kind of thing. So, I have a very busy rocket science job. You think I'm making it up, but I'm not. Okay. Anyway, uh, and this trial kind of ate my brain. I'm sure it ate yours too. So, we come back next time with a more, uh, a more marrow and uh, light-hearted spin on things. And uh, we talk about some of the other things going on. Um, you know, this weekend or next week sometime. Okay, till then. Okay, everybody, till then. Uh, you know, stay away from the psychopath and sociopath and all that kind of thing. And uh, take care. Uh, love you all. Bye.